Hey, good morning, Gemini, and welcome to your April tarot reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Gemini, it is great to connect with you today. Today is March the 31st. It's Friday. I love Fridays. It's my favorite favorite day of the week. Uh, typically, I do tarot readings later in the afternoon or in the evening, So, but it's morning time here. I'm actually doing these tarot readings before I go to work this morning, so uh, I'm really interested to see how things go, but I'm excited to connect with you, with you Gemini. Whether your sun sign is Gemini or your moon or rising sign is Gemini, uh, some of you may be here checking up on a Gemini. Uh, others of you may just find yourselves intuitively guided to be here. I mean, I'm excited that you're here. If you're here, you're following your intuition. So, uh, really excited to share your tarot reading with you, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's going on in April. I'm hoping this reading finds you in divine timing, Gemini. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I want to pull one energy for you. And this energy is going to show up as a strong energy for you. We're just going to get one, right? hopefully one. Um, it's going to be a strong ener energy for you, taking you through the month of April. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use my crystal vision. Whoops, there we go. Got them upside down. My crystal vision tarot set. And I'm going to pull three energies and then clarifying energies on those energies. The clarifiers give us a chance to dig a little bit deeper. We get into the details and the specifics. So, all right, Gemini, let's get started here. Let me just give this deck one more shuffle. And let's see what comes out for Gemini. I always look forward to your tarot readings, Gemini. You know, for whatever reason, we have a lot of Gemini soul family members here on this channel. Uh, so it is great to connect with all of you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my energy and my style of tarot reading. And really, at the end of the day, right, I'm going to give you a tarot reading here. But my whole goal overall, I want to give you insightful, helpful, intuitive direction and guidance with these energies. But really, my goal overall, Gemini, is to be able to raise your vibration, right, throughout this tarot reading. So your vibration is raised from the time you start the tarot reading to the, by the time you finish. I want you to just be in good energies and good spirits. All right. Tell us about Gemini in the month of April, please. Gemini in April. Okay, beautiful. Gemini, you have three of cups coming to you. It comes to us as share the love. So interesting. Uh, for, it's about friendships. It's about uh, celebration. It could be about your community. Uh, it could be about spending time with family. You know, it's it's all about getting together with with friends. Yeah, getting out and having a good time. Uh, exchanging conversations, yeah, sharing stories, going out, having dinner together. Uh, it's a great energy taking you into the month of April. All right, let's pull some energies from my Crystal Vision Tarot set. And let's get into the details in the specifics, Gemini. All right, tell us about Gemini energy in the month of April, please. Gemini energy in the month of April. Beautiful. Okay, first energy taking you into your reading, Gemini, comes to us as the Ace of Wands. So this is a beginning, and it's not just a normal beginning, but this is the kind of beginning. This is, this is the beginning that comes in the quickest, right? So I feel like you're gonna you're gonna embrace this beginning in the month of April. It's a passionate beginning. It's an adventurous beginning. It's an exciting beginning for you. That's how we describe that beginning. Uh, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Please clarify the Ace of Wands for Gemini. Ace of Wands for Gemini, please. Okay, now coming in next, we have Scorpio's energy. Coming to us is the Death card. So the Death card represents the energy of an ending, right? And for others, Gemini, some of you may be connected to a Scorpio. You may be starting this beginning together with a Scorpio here. But it's representing the energy of an ending. This inscription on the headstone is written in Latin, but translated it says, Life is changed, not taken. 
right? So it looks like there may be some change, maybe a transformational change, or it could be an ending to something, right? This taking you into this beginning. Let's clarify the death card. Please clarify the death card for Gemini. Please clarify the death card for Gemini. Too many energies there. Okay, coming in attached to the death card, you have the Seven of Cups. So beautiful energy right here. This is about having choices. Notice the figure on this card. She's on top of this dragon, and she's being offered all of these cups, but she's not receiving any of them. Right? And there's one cup down here that has a rainbow coming out of it. Right, That's your best choice. This is all about having lots of choices to take you into this beginning. This, this right here, this cup with the rainbow, it represents your authentic self. Right, The truest you. Interesting. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups for Gemini. Coming in attached to the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is representing the energy of work, right? So Gemini, some of you may be in the energy. <coughs> I have to point this out here. Something may have ended recently for some of you, right? And, for, and it could have been work-related right here with the Eight of Pentacles showing up. This is a work-related energy. And she's focused on her spin wheel here, right? Striving to become the best at what it is she does. And she has great focus and determination. Interesting. But opening yourself up to a lot of choices, right? New choices, new opportunities. Okay, Gemini, let's pull a second energy for you. Tell us about Gemini energy in April, please. Okay, beautiful. Here it is again, right? This is the same energy, the Three of Cups, that came out for you right here and Share the Love. Right? This is about friendships and celebration right here. And then coming in attached to the Three of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, right? So what, what Tarot and Spirit is telling us right here, Gemini, is you know, what, whatever may have ended for some of you, and you're, you're getting ready to start a beginning, I mean, get out, network, socialize with people, right? It's really, it's not about, it's not so much about what you know as it is about who you know, right? I don't know why I'm feeling intuitive, intuitively guided to tell you that. Uh, but Three of Cups, right? Your, your ability to get out and spend time with, time with friends, it brings you, it balances your energy. Um, and I get that. I do. Because I, I know, you know, I don't like, I, I struggle with changes in life. You know, I struggle with endings sometimes. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, if something, if there's a struggle going on, right? If I'm in some heavier, difficult energies, um, a lot of times it's really it's it's a bit of a challenge for me to get out with friends because you know with my energy you know I go into hermit mode a lot right, where I, I'll isolate uh, and I just like to you know think and process things through it's a time for healing for me but what's being pointed out to you here Gemini is your ability to, to stay connected to your friends uh, stay connected to family stay connected to the people in your life that you love you know, whether you're with them physically or, you know, it could be communicating, you know, text, emails, phone calls, FaceTime. Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles for Gemini. Too many energies. Too many energies again. Two of Pentacles for Gemini, please. Okay, coming in attached to the Two of Pentacles, you have the Devil card, representing Capricorn energy. Some of you may be connected to a Capricorn. And then, interestingly enough, you have the Ace of Swords coming in attached to the Devil card, right? So what is Tarot telling us here? It's telling you, Gemini, right? Spend time with friends. It'll bring you your balanced energy and focus on the things that you are passionate about, right? Thinking about in the Ace of Swords, right? I'm thinking about beginnings, beginnings that I'm passionate about right here with the Devil card coming in. Wow, I love your tarot reading, Gemini. Okay, let's pull your third energy for you. Tell us about Gemini energy in April, please.
Gemini energy in April. Okay, coming in next, you have the Page of Swords, which is representing the energy of communication. Um, if it's a person, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, if it's a person, it would be somebody younger, right? Maybe a, somebody youthful, maybe a child. Uh, but I feel like it's probably representing communication, but let's clarify. Tell us about the Page of Swords for Gemini. Coming in next, you have the Unknown card, right? Staring into the crystal ball, she's trying to see what's inside the crystal ball. She wants to see what her future looks like, right? But notice the crystal ball is clouded right here. So interesting, we have communication coming in attached to the unknown card. Let's clarify the unknown card. Okay, coming in attached to the unknown card, you have the energy of the sun. So I feel like what's being pointed out here, Gemini, all right? Communication, you're, this is also swords, right? So we're, we're talking about the things that we think about communicating. Um, if you're in the energy of the unknown card, right? It's like, I, I don't even know what I want to communicate exactly because look at the end of the day, you may be in the dark, right? You, you may not know what your choices are. You may not have made a choice quite yet. You may not know, you know, what is the next step for you right here? But where should your focus be? Leo energy, focused on the sun. Some of you may be connected to a Leo. Um, this is about letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns. It's really interesting that this would come out for you like this, Gemini, because as I was preparing for your tarot reading and shuffling cards, right, I'm gathering my thoughts at the time. And the thought that, I, that kept popping into my mind, you know, you have that fake it till you make it, right? Uh, and I really don't like fake it till you make it so much. I don't like the way that that, that sounds. Um, what I like more is acting as if, right? Which is maybe the same thing. It just sounds a little different, you know. But, but but acting as if you already have this job, right? Acting as if you already have this new friendship. You already have this new relationship. Acting as if if you've been in a spat with you know with someone that you're close to, you're acting as if you know things are better again, right? Because it creates an energy, and then you can build upon that energy right here. So, if you, Gemini, if you're in, in the energy of the unknown right here. Just focus on positive thoughts, right? Focus on experiencing abundance, right? And love in your life. And I feel like what's going to help you most to be able to do that is your ability to spend time with friends, right? To connect with others. You know, put yourself out there. Again, <laughs> yeah, it's not who you know. It's not, it's not what you know. It's who you know. I keep feeling kind of intuitively guided to tell you that, Gemini. I don't know who that's applying to, but I feel like somebody out there needs to hear that. All right, Gemini, let's give it three more shuffles here, and then let's begin your second row of cards. Yeah, so this time of year, I, I love April, right? It's one of my favorite months of the year. So I really look forward to the April Terror readings because at the end of the day, what it tells me is that the weather's changing, right? We're, we're moving into more sunshine, longer days, warmer temperatures. Uh, yeah, because it's like, it seems to be like the end of January, February for sure, March for sure, for sure. It's like I've been in that hibernation mode and cold temperatures and like drizzly, wet rain that's cold for too long. And I, you know, in the wintertime, I hibernate a lot. I go into hermit mode. It's like, Oh, should I go out or should I stay in? And it's when it's 13 degrees outside, I think I'll just stay in, right? But I think doing that over the wintertime, it's, it kind of gets heavy for me. So spring can't get here soon enough for me. I don't, I don't know. I'm sharing that with you because I feel like some of you are probably relate and identify with what I'm talking about. All right, tell us about Gemini energy in April, please. Gemini energy in April. Okay, King of Pentacles wanted to come out. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. You know, there's somebody who's a hard worker, right? Likely somebody who likes to work with their hands as well. I don't know if it's representing an energy for you, Gemini, or somebody in your life, but let's clarify. Tell us more about this King of Pentacles. Okay, we got two energies. 
some of you, this may represent the person that you're with, Gemini. Uh, and I say that because attached to the King of Pentacles, you have the Two of Cups, representing love, right? Soulmate connection right here. And look at the end of the day, soulmates, you can be in a relationship, but you don't have to be in a relationship to be soulmates, you know, not at all. Um, yeah, it's like, you, and I don't feel like you have just one soulmate in your life. I feel like you have you have a lot of soulmates. Coming in attached to the Two of Cups, you have the Three of Wands. So this couple right here, looking at the journey that lies ahead, right? She's on the side of this cliff, and she wants to see what this journey looks like. So she takes out a crystal ball and holds it up to the sun, right? She's trying to see what this journey looks like. So some of you... Well, I feel like it's, yeah, the King of Pentacles for sure, Gemini, is either representing your energy or the person that you're with. Uh, let me just describe the King of Pentacles a little bit more. Um, probably somebody who understands quality, right? Uh, understands quality in terms of materialism, but isn't necessarily materialistic. This is also somebody who's probably a hard worker, right? And I feel like they probably they probably work with their hands as well right and, and look at the end of the day and I, I don't think i've ever said this on here they may be a hunter right maybe they're into hunting interesting let's pull another energy tell us about gemini energy in april please we definitely have a couple here coming in next you have a lover's card so here's your energy showing up gemini Oh, that's great. You know, loving relationship. Let's clarify this lover's card. Tell us about these lovers for Gemini. Then you have the King of Cups, right? So somebody in somebody in this relationship is very loving, right? And it may even be the same person as this King of Pentacles energy here. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy by way of Zodiac. You know, what they're saying is, is in this relationship, right here this person or maybe the relationship overall is a very balanced relationship that's a big compliment to you gemini uh notice he has one foot on dry land and one foot in the water right this is somebody who's very compassionate somebody who's very understanding look at the end of the day if it's a male right here and it doesn't have to be right but if it's a male this is a gentleman this is somebody who's probably a little bit charming too. You know, somebody who will open up the door for you, right? Somebody who uh, is affectionate, somebody who's great at intimacy. All right, let's clarify this King of Cups. Please clarify the King of Cups for Gemini. Not only is this person charming, right? But they're also very passionate. You have the devil card coming in. So Capricorn energy is showing up again. So, yeah, I don't know, Gemini. It's getting pretty hot and steamy in here, right, with this lover's card. Uh, this is a fantastic couple. I feel like I feel like you're really close. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, yeah, probably the kind of relationship where, you know, you, you'll think about each other all the time. Whether it's a new relationship or whether you've been in a relationship for quite a while yeah, this is this is a really healthy and beautiful relationship all right Gemini let's pull another energy for you tell us about Gemini energy in April please Gemini energy in April Okay, coming in next, you have the Knight of Swords, right? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy right here. If it's a person, somebody who's probably like 25, 35 years old, in that Knight energy. So the Knight of Swords typically brings in a truth to you. Tell us about the Knight of Swords for Gemini. Knight of Swords energy for Gemini, please. Okay, beautiful. What's your truth that's coming into you, Gemini? Six of Pentacles. You know, it, it, beautiful energy. This is all about the fairness and the balance, right, in giving to others, right? Because what we give, it also comes back to you. And that's what's being pointed out to you right here, right? This is your truth, Gemini. So the month of April, look, a great month for service, right? A great month to, like, 
you know, think about the people closest to you in, in your in your life, and it's like, you know, what what is it that you could do for those people that would really show up for them and help them out in their life? Think about those energies, right, throughout the month of April, because what the tarot is telling us, Gemini, is that these energies serve you very well. Uh, the energies that you give out, they're going to come back to you. Really balanced. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Please clarify the Six of Pentacles for Gemini. When I say really balanced, here you are right here, Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is another one of your truths. So, Gemini, spend time with friends, right? Socialize in the month of April and give of yourself to others, right? A beautiful energy. It'll make you feel fantastic about yourself. Uh, so much so that it brings you balance in your life. Wow, Gemini, I love your tarot reading today. Fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let's pull an affirmation card for you before we close up your reading here. This will be an affirmation card taking you through the month of April. Uh, this deck is called uh, My Magical Time Spell Cards. It's interesting. They call them spell cards because if you read the, the captions on the cards, they're kind of spell-like, right? And I, I read them three times. Please help us pull an affirmation card for Gemini, please. Beautiful, there it is. Trust. Love this affirmation, Gemini. Uh, the number 31, right, which reduces to a four. Four represents, you know, the energy, the home, the family. This energy says, I am safe, I am secure, in love I trust, my faith endures. I am safe, I am secure, in love I trust, my faith endures. I am safe, I am secure, in love I trust, my faith endures. This isn't just about trusting others. This is about trusting yourself as well, right? And I feel kind of intuitively guided to share that with you, Gemini. It's not just about trusting others. It's about trusting yourself. All right, Gemini, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love and the support that you guys provide me. Some of you have donated towards the channel, and I can't thank you enough because your, your donations make such a difference in my life. Uh, or they really do. Look, if any of you are interested in requesting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at loveandabundancetarot at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you, connect, and set up a time to do a tarot reading for you, and let's see what's happening in your life, right? You can ask about past, present, future. It doesn't matter. Love, relationships, money, family, spouses, jobs. It's entirely up to you. Okay, Gemini, be sure to give me a like and a subscribe. Thank you again for being here. Have a beautiful day and have a beautiful April. Love you, Gemini.